Okay, I'm going to mix up a scumble for the horizon line, and I'm going to use a little bit of Portland gray light, which is um, a seven value gray, and I've, you can see I've I've marked that with seven, and, and some zinc white. Now zinc white is a little bit more transparent than than titanium white, and it also, it's also easier to tint. It's a very weak white, so when I mix it with my G gel or um, it'll thin down really nice. It won't overpower the gel. Uh, it's definitely cooling that, but is it cooling it too much? That's the question. So I'll have to step back a minute. It's about right, except it's just a little bit artless, so I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. And I don't like to see those smudges and smears. It looks good. I just need to um, cool a few of the hot spots here. They're just a little too far away to be that hot, that warm, so we need to cool them down just a little bit. When you get your glaze or your scumble the right value, it'll, it'll go on real flat. So, if it's not going on flat, just say, what, what do I need to do? Do I need to lower that value or do I need to make it lighter? Add in a little zinc white or a little bit of gray. Now one thing I noticed when I scumbled along the horizon there was the sky started to work. I was thinking maybe I'd lower the value on the sky by glazing a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue up in the corner here. But I think once I've adjusted these, the, uh, the edge there, soften that edge by lowering the value, I think the sky works quite a bit better. So I'm just going to leave the sky as is. So that pretty much wraps it up. I might go back in and break up an edge here or there with a little bit of dry brush. But the main thing to remember is, <clears throat> you know, I might oil up a section and then I'll take some transparent pigment and work into that and that'll be a glaze. And I might paint across with that glaze and, and then sort of smooth it out and then maybe paint into the, that with, a, with an opaque pigment that'll become a scumble if it's it has some translucency. I might paint into it with very thick paint and um, I might uh, work towards the edge and start doing some dry brushing. So it's a very fluid process. Um, you want to keep things moving into each other. You don't want discrete edges beginning and ending areas generally speaking. And um, I don't really, you know, think, you know, I'm glazing now, now I'm scumbling, I'm adding dry brush and so on. It's just sort of a, a very free um, application of pigment onto the surface. And I try to keep my strokes generally light and I, I want to step back a lot, making a, an analysis of my progress. Sometimes if I, if I um, glaze something too dark or it becomes too saturated, I'll, I'll wipe it out. Maybe I'll oil it up again and start over. But um, it's, it's quite a bit of fun actually because you can never lose control, really. The only time you lose control is when the um, paint dries. And then you can always paint over it again if you, if you need to. So let me know if you have any questions. And until then, thanks.